But we begin with a story you'll see only here on News 6. And my mom was like, I need to take care of my little sister first because she comes before I do. A stranger with a shotgun. No match for a protective big sister in Marion County. Deputies say the 14-year-old did everything right as the guy tried to get into her home. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Her incredible bravery was captured on surveillance cameras located throughout her home. News 6's Emily McLeod got her hands on that video and spoke to this brave teen. I see the, the shotgun in his hand, just holding it like this. And that's when I was like, okay, I got to do something. 14-year-old Leah Kissinger acting on instinct when she saw this man trying to enter their home with a shotgun on Tuesday. You can see in the top right corner of this ring video, Leah quietly grabbing her four-year-old sister and taking her to a different room when she spotted the intruder through their window. You didn't know who it was. You didn't know if it was a neighbor or just a random person. But talk to me about what was going on in your mind. You reacted so calmly. Um, in my mind, I was like, I have, it's me, it's my dog, it's my little sister. And my mom, I was like, I need to take care of my little sister first because she comes before I do when it's just me and her. I, I'm her going to be her protector if it's just me and her. According to the Marion County Sheriff's Office, the man had gone into another neighbor's house as well. Deputy said the woman inside the first home tried to get him to leave, but he hit her and stole her shotgun. Deputies say when they arrived at the Kissinger's house, the man was holding the shotgun described as stolen on the call. The report goes on to say deputies spoke with a neighbor who told them the man had been diagnosed with dementia. Kissinger says when she and her sister got to safety, her first phone call was to her mom. She didn't see the gun at first, so she was just basically just kind of like, maybe he's lost. And then she realized that he was holding a gun. She was like, okay, I got to call the police. Like, I'm going to go. <laughs> but Leah says she can't take all the credit. I think the real hero is my dog, for one. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's my little crybaby hero. He's scared of everything, but he can scare people away with his mm -hmm. very deep bark. Yeah. So I, I owe a lot to him. He's, I make fun of him sometimes for being a little scaredy cat, but he did do something, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of him. Leah says she's still shaken up, but slowly recovering. Like I'm still kind of just aware of my surroundings more just because it just happened so soon and I'm still not like ready to be alone but um it was hard to talk about it because it's like I'm reliving it my adrenaline gets high I start shaking again my heart starts pounding but now it's better and I feel like I'm okay hey, stop where you're at drop it since then, the man involved has been Baker acted. Leah says they did not press charges. They just want the man to get the help he needs. Reporting in Ocala, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results, News 6.